Hi YouTube, um, my name is Diana Luna. I am 29 years old. I am Dominican from Dominican Republic. Um, I study at Rhode Island College right now. I'm trying to get into the nursing program there. As an occupation, I am a certified nursing assistant at an Alzheimer's unit here in Providence. So guys, my weight, as you can see, skinny mini here, I am 100 pounds probably 105 that's the best I can do so I'm um, five seven five eight on a good day maybe on a good day um my style basically defines who I am um I can walk into a room and I can have tape on my tits and I can look like I'm walking on a runway in Versace or Doji Gabbana I can do everything from dyeing hair to doing makeup to slaying my face putting my face on um I can wear a cap all day and sneakers and run off to school or I can wear heels. I was gonna actually mention that I love thrift stores. I love shopping there. It's basically going treasure hunting. You never know what you're gonna find there. I bought myself a Michael Kors blazer, which cost me $3. Um, I find vintage coats, you name it. My furniture, everything that's in my house is practically vintage and thrift. Um, besides that and all the shopping that I love to do, I am a badass because I not only have tattoos and um, I wanted to get my septum pierced and I can actually, if I wanted to, we can do that here, but it's not gonna happen. No blood on the screen. <laughs> back um, the question was why do I believe that I should be America's Next Time Auto why am I awesome I believe in self-expression I believe that in order to stand out you have to be able to take style to the to another level not just be bland I feel that if I was selected to compete um, in America's Next Top Model I can um, show my individuality and my style you know put on I, I can be fierce I can slay anything you give me I can walk down a runway in cotton you know or, or tape Give it to me. I'll give you anything. I'm ready to plunge out of uh, uh, airplanes. I'm ready to dive into pools. I'm ready to walk the runway on a skyline. You give it to me, I'm going to give you fears. I'm going to give you what you want, what you're looking for. I'm not scared to be, uh, you know, step out of the box and plunge myself into opportunity. That's just me. You got to be a risk taker. With that being said, we're going to go to my apartment. I am an independent woman. I do live on my own, my little bachelor pad. I'll show you a little bit of my style there. Um, I believe the next question was why do I believe I'm a brand? Why am I a badass, a boss? Uh, basically, I would say that in order to be a badass, a brand, or a boss, you have to not forget where you come from and understand that in order to get to the top, you have to um, take with you where you came from, basically the bottom. You know, in order to reach that peak. So to be a boss, just to keep it simple, just don't forget where you came from and understand that um, you have to go through struggles. If you fall, you get back up. And now we're inside my house. My cute little couches. Everything vintage, slay, fierce, yeah, my little tables. This is my high-end little palace for fit for the queen, by the way. Everything, I want to be chandeliers here. I love my jewels. This is my hallway, it's a one bedroom, it's pretty small. And the bathroom's in here. Sorry guys for the mess, you know, typical girl stuff. Furry slippers. Ah, this is my bedroom, don't mind the mess. My little diva set. Every girl needs a diva set. And my little bed. See? Actually, I found these at the strip store, by the way. Thrift store, silk, 100% silk, four bucks. What is my, what are my biggest accomplishments? Um, my biggest accom accomplishments so far has been um, building my self-esteem and being more confident. I wasn't confident before because um, I'm kind of overlooked or um, maybe undershadowed because of how thin I am. And um, I've actually had people say, you know, are you anorexic? And it, that has never been the case. My self-esteem has always been basically underground and I've learned to love myself from the inside out. Um, I've learned to kind of stand out in the runways. I've learned that I can, I can be just another model and fit in, you know. But I can also stand out. Uh, basically, confidence. Confidence for me has been, it has been my biggest accomplishment throughout basically my life now. I just wanted to emphasize another thing. Like um, one of my other biggest accomplishments has been uh, just. Being able to pay for tuition, being able to hold yourself down and being able to get on that payment plan if you have to just to keep on going with education. I believe that at one point I will get that bachelor's degree and I will be an RN and I will, you know, stand out. I will definitely be one of the best. And my education for me is basically number one priority besides modeling. Um, something unique that I have done in life. Um, besides the fact that I shaved my hair off at one point, you can see that I did. I shaved it off, meaning like I like to stand out, like definitely. I'm a go-getter. I'm not trying to settle for the, the regular look, the ordinary. Um, unique stuff. 
I actually did my couches. This is actually gold leaf on my couches. Took me two months. Uh, how my personality stands out. I'm loud. Um, I love to drink, socially drink, but I love to drink. Those that know me know when you come into a party with me, you will be home at 6 in the morning. Anyway, I stand out because um, uh, typically people think that I'm a model. I walk in a room and they assume that I'm a model and that just that myself up to that one. Um, typically I just look it. I just look it. I, I breathe it. I eat it. That's it's just me. I don't want you guys thinking that I'm bougie, that I'm just, it's just all about me. It's not all about me. It's all about me and my people. I mean, you're with me, we have a click. I'm gonna look good, you're gonna look good. All right, if I stand out, you stand out. If I win, you win. So a little bit of my struggles and my background. Um, basically, I'm an immigrant, I'm a Dominican immigrant. I came here when I was uh, age of three. Uh, at a young age, learned what it is to struggle, what it is to uh, live on a day-by-day -day paycheck. Uh, my mother didn't have much. We came from poverty, you know, we're here to, to we came to the U.S. for the typical American dream, which is to better yourself, to achieve the maximum potential that you can achieve with the little bit that we have. Um, and that's basically it, just learning from your struggles to peak to the top. This is outside my neighborhood. I live upstairs on third floor. Right here, brick building. It's cold. Uh, not much out here. It's just a small town, you know? It's a little dark out, so I'm sorry for that, but it's not your typical New York with buildings. It's a lot of homes, you know? Side by side, typical little projects. A little bit of my closet, shoe fan. Little other half of my closet here. Girls, you need the Louis. I put it, it was a, a bid on eBay. Um, so the next question was, why do I want to win America's Next Top Model? I mean, it would be huge. Uh, I have tons of followers, people rooting for me. You know, I want to represent Rhode Island, little Rhode Island that is so unrecognized. I want to represent Latinas, women, inked women. I want to empower women. I want to inspire. Um, I want to just rule the world. Who doesn't want to rule the world? Anyway, I want to win it because I want to pay off tuition bills that I have, <laughs> loans, which are huge, and I want to put a down payment on a house. I want to have my own place. I want to get out of the typical, um, what is it, low income based housing? I, I, that's not what I want. I'm more than that. I also want to buy my mother a house. She deserves everything. I, I, every inch grain of success that is mine is hers. She deserves a house, she deserves a car. She deserves more than just the typical American dream, which is to live in a low income house and live paycheck to paycheck. She deserves to be a queen like she is. with that being said guys I hope you liked the video I wish I could give you more of myself but that was just a little glimpse if you stay tuned and you vote me through and I make this you'll see more of me you're gonna love it you're gonna want you're gonna keep me you're gonna keep me going so I want to represent give me a shout out please and keep me in your purse hope you like it <laughs>